Hello, welcome to the Bruder Real Estate Team video blog. I'm Veronica Bruder, and today we're going to be talking about the five most common reasons why your offer to purchase a home was rejected. Congratulations, you finally found your dream home. Who would have ever thought that buying a house would be this stressful and time intensive? Well, there are five common reasons for rejecting an offer. Having the knowledge as to why your offer was rejected will hopefully result in you making your next offer more attractive. Reason number one, your seller received a better offer. If there's one thing about home sellers you ought to remember as a home buyer is that home sellers want the most money for their property with the least amount of inconvenience. Besides the price level of the offer to purchase, you might also be looking at a home buyer's with offers containing better terms than yours. Simply put, the home seller received a better offer than yours. If you genuinely have an interest in purchasing the property, making a low ball offer can immediately alienate the home seller. So think before you act. Whereas lower offers are common reason for rejection. They are second only to offers having better terms or offer more money or both. Most of the time, home buyers and their realtors have done their homework and have a pretty good idea of how much the house is worth. A really good comparative market analysis goes a long way in determining the fair market value for you to offer. Your offer is now considered to be reasonable and negotiations can commence. Uh, reason number three is that your offer to purchase contained too many contingencies. Something most home buyers aren't aware of is the fact that the best price doesn't always win. If you're thinking of putting an offer at the full asking price, but it includes a number of contingencies, don't be surprised to see that your offer gets rejected as the seller may have accepted an offer to purchase with a slightly lower price than yours, but doesn't have as many demands. Don't misunderstand me here. There's nothing wrong with putting a couple of reasonable contingencies in the purchase offer, but with a lot of contingencies, you're reducing the likelihood of your offer to purchase being accepted. Reason number four is that the sellers could have unreasonable expectations or unrealistic expectations. Even though the conversation about receiving multiple offers quickly may have taken place at the time of signing the listing, once some home sellers are exposed to high activity, they'll change their mind. Your offer to purchase a house might be at full asking price without any particular unreasonable contingencies, yet the home seller deems the offer too early, too late. In such a scenario, there's not too much a home buyer can do except continue searching until you find your next gem. Reason number five is that you don't have your financing figured out. If you're a serious home buyer, by now you should be aware of the importance of getting pre-qualified. If you were the home seller, will you risk accepting a full asking price offer from a buyer that still has to go through the mortgage pre-approval process? You are less likely to reject the pre-qualified buyers, even if the high offer is slightly less. We cannot emphasize strongly enough that as a home buyer, the importance of getting your financing approved prior to house hunting. Now for my closing thoughts. In the end, you as a home buyer need to understand the possibility of your offer being rejected by the home seller. Buying a home needs to be a win-win situation before both parties will agree to a deal. Before you and your realtor write an offer to purchase, make sure you've done all your homework, understand the seller's situation, know what's included and what's not, so that your purchase offer has a better chance of being accepted. If your offer is rejected, find out why, and if possible, what you can do to redeem the problem. If you still end up with your offer being rejected, learn from experience so that your next offer will be received more favorably. Thank you for watching this video blog. Contact the Bruder Real Estate team at any time. Our goal is to provide you with any further assistance that you may need. Thank you.